Did you know, on July 30th, 2016, skydiver Luke Aikens made history when he jumped from 25,000 feet out of an airplane without a parachute into a net on the ground, which set a new world record. All right, we're uh, just less than three weeks out, um, getting ready for Heaven Sent. We're in the final push of the training. There's a lot of focus from the film crews and the production guys on, on all the fitness and stuff like that, which is great, makes me feel better. Uh, but none of that stuff is what's going to keep me alive on the day. What's going to keep me alive is the jumping, just repetitive practice, practice, practice. If I miss this target, it doesn't matter how good a shape you're in or any of this other stuff that happens. So hitting the target is the most important thing, accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Fighting the wind, countering the wind, all that stuff. The next thing is that rollover. I need to roll over about 200 feet. I'm going to be going about 120 miles an hour. And roughly one second before I impact, I want to flip to my back and land real nice. It's different than a stunt roll. I have to fly my body around. Now, apparently, this was a big story at the time. It was even aired live on TV with the name of the show called Heaven Sent. But personally, I've never heard of it before. I just happened to come across his YouTube channel with videos of the jump. But before I show you the jump, let's quickly talk about who Luke Hakens is and how he prepared for the jump. Luke, who was 42 at the time of the jump, is a third generation skydiver who has been skydiving since the age of 16 and has deployed a parachute more than 18,000 times over the course of his skydiving and base jumping career. Luke Hakens is also a safety and training advisor for the United States Parachute Association, where he provides advanced skydiving training to elite military special forces. So I think it's safe to say he is more than qualified to know the risks associated with such a jump. Luke spent two years preparing for this jump, 1.5 years of planning and six months of straight training. And Luke told me they never once jumped from a plane into the net until the day they did this one and only jump. Now just to be clear, when Luke jumped from the plane, all he had was a GPS, a communication device and an oxygen tank. What he didn't have was a parachute, a wingsuit, or anything else that might help him stop or slow his descent. After jumping out of the Cessna airplane at 25,000 feet, Luke quickly reached a terminal velocity of 120 miles per hour. Because Luke jumped from 25,000 feet, he had to wear an oxygen mask for the first 10,000 feet of the descent. After reaching about 15,000 feet, he passed off the mask and tank to a member of his support team who was skydiving next to him. Using his GPS and only the air currents around him, he lined up his fall to the center of a specialized 100 by 100 foot net, which was designed to stop Luke's fall as softly as if you were standing on a trampoline and merely dropped onto your back. The net, dubbed the flytrap, was suspended between the tops of four 200 foot cranes. The netting itself is constructed from spectra, which is a high density polyethylene cord that is twice as strong as steel. When Luke reached about 200 feet above the net, or a little more than a second away from impact, he flipped onto his back and tucked his chin. Once Luke hit the net, four compressed air cylinders, which are connected to the netting via ropes and pulleys, slowed him down in the same way that you might catch an egg in your hand, by decelerating it gently over a distance. The total time from jumping from the plane to hitting the net took about two minutes. But when you are falling from 25,000 feet into a small net you can't even see from 25,000 feet, I bet it felt like a lifetime. Luke Aiken set a new world record performing this jump, and I bet you that's one world record that won't be beaten anytime soon. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.